in a box. Hey, Frank! No passengers! Oh, no witnesses to take care of. We got ourselves a witness! I found you down by the creek. I took care of you. Oh. Oh, I'm obliged. You were losing a lot of blood. Nearest doctor's a day's ride. What did Ballinger have against you? Oh. The least you should know is the name of the man who shot you. Ballinger. Frank Ballinger. Huh. You seem to be familiar with it. Most people around here are. Why did he shoot you? I saw your friend and his men kill the stagecoach driver and shotgun. He's not my friend. <laughs> I'm Ellen Jameson. And your name is William Colton. I went through your things. And I'm not going to apologize for it. Well, I understand. A woman alone. Who said I was alone? I just assume it. Don't assume too much. I was married once. A long time ago. Mm. shouldn't be out here. Just thought I might be of some help. I owe you a lot. It's no charge. That's a nice colt. Yeah, you'll bring a good price.
Joshua's been groomed. You take care of a good thing. Well, I'm obliged to you again. You needn't be. You're a pretty cautious woman, aren't you? I don't say what I don't mean. I'll fix you some breakfast. There's one advantage to living alone. There's no one around to tell you what you can or can't do. Ballinger. Might be. My horse. They'll recognize him. You are in no condition to fight with anybody. I'll take care of the horse. You get inside and stay there. Go on. Do as you're told. It's proper to knock at a lady's house. Your uh, obedient servant humbly apologizes, my lady. What do you want? Positively majestic, huh? Yeah, regular queen. Oh, that's it? That's it, a queen? How come they call you Ellen? They ought to have named you Regina. Means queen, you know, Regina. All I know is that you're on my property, and now I want to know why. We're looking for a man. A man? Yeah, in uh, case you forgot, that's uh, something worse pants. <laughs> he's wearing kind of a Union cavalry hat, riding a fancy-looking black horse, and he's wounded. Well? Oh, what would he be doing around here? Oh, that's a good question. The trouble with these young ones, they got no respect for their elders. Wait! You need a drink. It's a beautiful dress. Why don't you just leave, Frank? We haven't even had a drink yet. can't tell. Are you enjoying yourself? Isn't that the idea of living? By hurting other people? Whatever way it comes. Nice seeing you, Ellen. Oh, uh, I seem to recall that you can be charitable at times. Well, if that man that I'm looking for comes into the neighborhood, just let me know. Don't be charitable.
You can come out now. What's the matter with you? I don't know. I guess I just don't like the idea of hiding behind a woman's dress. Oh, you wanted to prove you were a man by getting yourself killed? I don't think I'd care to go that far. Well, then you're just trying to impress me. You don't have to. I know what men are. Where are you going? Get the sheriff. You're right. I'm not in any shape to handle Ballinger and his gang alone. Ballinger has friends all over. You'll never get to town. I'll make it. Yes, you'll get far. Ballinger doesn't kill you, an open wound will. I'll go for the sheriff. That was not just an ordinary dress you were hiding behind. It was my wedding dress. Jameson. Good morning, Jess. Harriet. The supplies you ordered are in. Oh, good. Anything else? Yes, this dress. This dress, I want it. This dress? Well, it looks like my size, isn't it? Yes, but... Well, then I'll take it. Don't look so unhappy. You just made a sale. You didn't even ask the price. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, it'll be a perfect fit, wouldn't you say? Yes, but... Well, we could put a little lace in there for no, you. No, no, it's fine, just the way it is. Would you put it in a box for me, please? Yes. I suppose I should ask why you're buying such a fancy dress since the barn dance is still two months away. Uh-uh. Shouldn't ask. All right. I'll send it out with the other supplies in the morning. No, I'll take it with me. Ellen, I never saw you this way before. So daring. Sheriff, tell him what happened. I spoke to him. Yeah, what did he say? Well, he said he was going after the Ballinger gang with a posse, and that you were to stay here until further notice. Uh, I'll take that. Oh, as long as you have to stay here for the next few days, you might as well call me Ellen. Dress for dinner. Ella, you look beautiful. You do say what you mean, don't you? Uh huh. Like you. I, I haven't gotten dressed up for so long. I used to once to please somebody I loved, and then I discovered that there was so much pain in love that there was very little else. So I, 
decided to try and stop loving. Well, uh, you know, there's a thin line between pain and pleasure. Well, there was nothing but hurt for me. Well, then it wasn't love. Oh, I did love him. Well, it was a bad choice. What if I chose you? <laughs> I never thought I'd take a chance on love again. I... I never talked like this to anybody in my whole life. I don't even recognize myself saying it. I can't stop. Well, I, I'm flattered. Flat? Well, I mean, you're a lovely woman. Flattered? You're patronizing me. Oh, no. Well, then you're being nice to me. It's, let's try to be polite about this to the bitter end. Now, Ellen. Why don't you just make it Miss Jameson? That's right, Miss Jameson. I always was Miss Jameson. I never was married. I never got to the church. I was left waiting right here. He never promised me a church. I'm quite a dreamer, Mr. Colt. Quite a dreamer. here for Miss Jamison. She in the house? No, Miss Jamison left early this morning uh, for the south pasture. When's she coming back? Well, she didn't say. Always handled her own horses before. You wrangling for her? No. Oh, did you hear the news? Sheriff got his head blasted off. The Ballinger gang? Why, no. Where would you get that idea from? It happened the day before yesterday over at Chatham Corners. The day before yesterday. I see. My father called this his dreaming place. He say, Ellen, girl, from here you can look out way beyond what you can see. And I could. And now, no matter how hard I try, I cannot see beyond that rock. Maybe that's the way life's supposed to be. Only what you can see. If you're feeling sorry for me, don't. I can't stand it. You didn't go see that sheriff, did you? No, of course you didn't. He was killed the day before. I wanted you to stay. You'd have gone anyway, lie or no lie. He must have hurt you very much, that man you love. I thought you would be different than he was. Well, I certainly didn't want to hurt you like he did. I wanted you to love me. I wanted that so desperately. It's gonna happen for you. He'll come along, the right man. You gonna guarantee me that? Can't guarantee anything in life. What do I do to stop the pain? What do I do? You take another chance. Sure, it might hurt again. But you won't be just existing. You'll be living. You'll be alive.
I told you, Frank. See, I told you. He's a guy, ain't he? Yeah, Jess, he's a guy, all right. Well, so now I can go. Yeah, if you want to go, go ahead. Uh, Matt, work your way down that side. Right. What are you waiting for? You said you'd stake me. That you'd pay me off. Sure, Jess, I'll pay you off. Stay here. Don't move. Don't move. Don't say one word. Where is he? I loved him. He was the man. Yes, I knew. The day he was at your house. I waited and waited and waited. I was like a prisoner. Well, you won't be any longer. You're free now, Ellen. You're free. 